the ChatGPT test. This time I'm going to compare it with Copilot and um, ChatGPT in our studio versus ChatGPT in the OpenAI interface. So I'm here I'm in our studio. I am using the GPT Studio package. Look for that in the description of the video. Okay, so I've got this file here and um, I am asking it to write this plot with ggplot instead of base R. So what you do with the GPT Studio package is uh, it gives you this add-on, this extension. You can click here and you can go here and do click that and it will go ahead and analyze that comment and analyze the code and give you an answer. So here's the answer that it gave me. And so um, it converts this to a data frame. All right, that's okay. Um, but there are a number of errors in this code. So this part right here, um, if we go here, let's go there. Okay. So you can see there is no column called time. So this, this is going to be a bug right there. So I'm going to have to fix that. And um, I fixed this here, but what it gave me was index there. And so I would need to know that that's part of the zoo package. So I would have to add that. Um, so it's fairly close, um, but it wouldn't totally work. And um, also, uh, by the way, it would look really different than this plot right here. So let's go ahead and so if I just plot that right there. So if I plot that, you see it's got all of this. So plot is a method for these forecast objects. So it would create that and then it would create the forecast. And this thing that it's creating here is only creating this forecast here. So I've got some problems with the code and also the plot's really different. Let's hop over to uh, Copilot. Now I'm in Visual Studio Code. I've got this R file open and I have Copilot here. I have the um, R extension loaded, so it's going to know how to deal with my R code. Okay, so let's go here. We're going to do the same thing here. And let's go here. What was it? Uh, uh, plot fr and uh, uh, points test out. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that was a little auto completion there. That actually works really well with uh, Copilot. But I'm not going to use that auto completion. I'm going to select this and I'm going to send it over to um, Copilot in this kind of interactive mode. So I'm pressing Control and hitting Return. And so I will say that um, I don't know how to interact with Copilot in this way because it never comes up with answers that are remotely useful. So uh, even if I just select here and do control return, so I send it over there. Um, yeah, nothing, 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 nothing remotely useful. So. For me right now, unless I learn better how to interact with Copilot, I need to study that. I, I can't use, use this interactive part. But let's say I wanted to use the auto completion. And now, so I write FR forecast, I hit return. Let's see what it suggests. No, I don't want that. Hmm, interesting. Okay, uh, come on, do something better. It's not a very good example. Okay, well, it didn't, it didn't suggest it. Um, well, if I knew that I wanted auto plot, I could do this. Oops, hey, stop that. Okay, goodness gracious. Okay, so let's say I knew I, I wanted auto plot, and then it suggests adding the points there. Well, that's kind of nice. Um, again, it, um, it actually would get pretty close, but once again, it's kind of interesting. It keeps suggesting index, which is good, but um, it didn't add the zoo dot 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 for me, and it didn't add library zoo. So if I just ran this code, it would not work because I don't have the zoo package uh, loaded. The rest of this, I think, should work. 
What is values? Okay, anyhow. I think the rest of it should work okay. So the auto completion part worked okay. Let's hop over now to, um, let's hop over to the chat uh, GPT window. And I gave it the same thing. I said, um, rewrite this code with ggplot instead of plot. And I gave it the same things here. And let's take a look at the code that it came up with. And this code is pretty good. Um, it, it creates this data frame here and, um, and then it uses this here. It's using time. It kind of recognizes that test stat is a, um, or it guesses, it guesses that test stat is a time series object. It can get it this and get the value. Okay. So all that should actually work. Okay. I think looking at this code, it looks okay. Um, yeah. Now, if I actually ran this, I'll run into an error and there's a couple things that will happen. First off, if I do as vector this, um, I can show you this. What? Well, yeah. Okay. Are you going to let me copy? Okay. Here. So let's hop back over here. And uh, if I do that, you're going to see that it's got the lower on back, both the, the lower, this lower part. And, and, and I think it's, I think it's like, like both, both sides of this, this shading of this ribbon. And when, um, chat GPT gives me these things like this, it um it only has you know that one line so if you look at this you see it's, it's shorter right so it's it's going to complain about this data frame that these are not the same length um all right so that's a comparison what do i think i i think that um i still need to know r in order to get this to work i'd be really frustrating if i didn't know r and i didn't know how to fix um all the errors